drawing tables for technical reports using Microsoft Word. Tables are inevitable in technical reports. So let's go through the process of creating one, and I'll make it pretty much like the one I have here shown. I'm going to begin by center justifying, control E, and we'll go to the insert tab and we could just click on the table icon but let's look at the options available to us if we click the list arrow below it. I'm going to choose insert table. The number of columns we want here will be four. The number of rows would be three. Now we're going to choose auto fit to contents and then we'll adjust the size afterwards. I just recentered that. All right, so symbol and factor, symbol and factor. So we'll have two sets of symbols and factors. And we'll, let's choose uh, multipliers that are larger than one for this set of metric multipliers. So I'll use kilo, mega, giga, and Terra. Now recall that when you want to use the superscript tool, you, you can either use on the home tab this superscript shortcut here, or you can use control and shift equals. And that's what I'll do here just because it's quicker. Control shift plus or equals, that'd be three, a thousand. Mega is 10 to the sixth. Giga is 10 to the ninth. And Terra is 10 to the 12th. There's my basic table. I'd like to size it, show you how to adjust sizes. So let's select all of the columns. Go to the Layout tab. Notice that nothing is currently active. If I just give it a value to start with, let's say one inch, and hit Enter, now I should be able to make adjustments to it as I desire. It seems to respond now. So that looks pretty good. I'd like to shade, column of titles, and that would be on the design tab, shading, uh, pick whatever shade you like. I'd like to bold in these, control B how to do that. The center divider is highlighted differently. I want to show you how you adjust your borders. So if, I'm going to select the set of cells that contains that right hand border. Go to the Home tab, and here is the Borders group. If I go to the very bottom of the list box, Borders and Shading. Now, if you want to change the appearance of a border, uh, the best way to do this is to first, uh, and this, by the way, this box represents what I'm looking at here. So it's the right-hand border that I want to remove. First, click on it to unselect it, and then you can apply whatever selection you want. If you just try selecting over top of what's there, and it doesn't usually work very well. And like so. And OK. That should take care of that. What's left? Well, what about spacing in tables? If you select the cells, you have options on the Layout tab. Notice um, Center Justified. We could go Left Upper Justified, Left Center, Left Bottom, and so on. Another adjustment you can make is to add spacings between the characters within the cells. And that's done on the Home tab. In the Paragraph Dialog Launcher box, this little tiny arrow. And notice that by default, six points or half a line spacing is added after each line in my document. If I add half a line before, Notice how that adds extra space above the symbol. So you can adjust them there on the Home tab using the Paragraph Dialog Launcher box. You can also uh, make adjustments using the Cell Margins option. Uh, you can adjust top and bottom spacings, left and right as well. In the same way that a report will contain captioned figures and a table of figures. Well, similarly, uh, a technical report that contains tables 
must have the tables captioned and also we need a table of tables. So let's go ahead and do that. It's done pretty much the same as we saw with figures. Uh, let's give me some space there. First I'm going to select my table and I want to assign it a caption. It's done in the same way as we did with figures. On the References tab, I'm going to go to Insert Caption. Now in this case, Word has already recognized that this is not a figure, but rather it's a table. In the case of tables, the American Chemical Society style guide requires that the numbering be uppercase Roman numerals. To choose the numbering, we choose this button right here, and I want to choose the format as the uppercase Roman numeral, and say OK. So that's table 2, capital 2 in Roman numerals. So I'll just call this, I'll say large units, just to differentiate it from the other table. And notice the position of the caption, in the case of a table, must be above rather than below, as it is in the case of a figure. So figures are captions below, tables above. That should take care of that. So there is our caption for the table. It should not be italicized. We'll get rid of that. It should be center justified. I suppose I should change the font color to black as well. Now, once you've created your tables and created your captions for the tables, you can then go ahead and create a table of tables. Again, as with tables of figures, tables of tables, tables of contents, all that is at the front end of the document. So let's go ahead to a previous page in the document. I'll go to the previous page and we'll type in table of tables. Now, let Word generate this automatically for you. Again, we're going to go to the References tab and insert table of figures. I know it says figures and we want tables, but that's the only option for us. We choose insert table of figures. And under caption label, if we chose figure, then it would generate a table of figures. But if we choose table, then it generates a table of tables. So Word picks up the name table in the captions that you've created. We're going to use the same format as before. From template is a good style for ACS. And say OK. And there it is, our table of tables. And as we said with the table of figures, these are hyperlinks which I can use the control and click on to take me directly to the table.